So my name is Marcus Grimm. I'm from the company Adelto, who are responsible for the sales and distribution worldwide of multiform lighting. And our distributor, Apollo Design Technology, is uh, showing our products here at Plaza. And they also have some other luminaires from ours. What I'm presenting here is the multibar uh, Echo LS4195, which you find on, the, on your left side. Although by now there are many T-bars with four LED lights as a compact light system on the market around already, we have nominated the multiform multibar LS4195 as we believe that we have brought quite a lot of uh, new innovative details to the product, besides of its appearance, of course. And like all multiform luminaires using the five millimeter LEDs, we have integrated a unique honeycomb louver that shows the light less than an LED and it um, gives a very even color mixture when it comes to the ground. Uh, the whole system can be operated as a standalone unit or with a specially designed DMX controller, handheld controller from our side. And there is also a foot controller and you can use the whole unit in a combination of either only using the foot controller directly to the unit or in a combination with the handheld controller. The whole item is sturdy made, long lasting and maintenance free as nearly all the products in the LED market. And it's aimed for the users like musicians, bands, mobile DJs, but also for the rental area. Therefore, it only has 7.2 kilos of weight due to the fact that we use plastic and aluminum uh, delivered with a sturdy case, a real flight case, not just a soft box. Um, the interface that we have integrated here is really uh, intuitive for the user. And perhaps you believe that it is not very easy to make a quite complex product very easy to use by the customer. Whatever function that you use here, you never get into a point that you do not find back to the working position. So there is nothing that you can do to the unit making it stop working. Um, we have a wide variety of seven operation modes in there. So there are 29 fade patterns and 33 switch patterns, including strobe, and another five uh, operation modes like day mix and standalone. Um, we've listened very carefully to the customers that told us, especially with other lights, we, in the sound to light operation mode, you find it uh, problematic if you have high sound pressure volu uh, volumes, you have to regulate it on the unit itself. Here we have uh, integrated a self-regulating sound to light function so it doesn't matter what sound pressure comes to the unit, it will always operate at its best. Uh, if you have more than one unit, for example, two units, then you can have the second unit being switched into reverse mode so that the lights are coming either towards or going out of each other. So the opposite way of working for the second unit. Especially musicians told us that it would be nice to have a programmable blackout motors where you can use the foot switch um, and the blackout function like a pause mode. So if you then use the blackout, you can switch it to, for example, all lights red with 20% dimmer. This is programmable by the foot switch. It also is um, being named that changing color scenes um, would be nice if you can either have it switched or in a fade mode. This we also integrated. So by using the foot switch, you can go from one color scene to the other in a fade mode, not only just switching from one to the other. It's uh, very environmental friendly, like everybody says, but we really have uh, integrated a power supply and electronics that for themselves use only eight watts. So the LED power altogether is 47 watts, and the power consumption of the whole unit is 55 watts. 
So there is only a loss of eight watts for the transformer and the electronics. And with many other products, you find that the uh, whole power consumption is nearly 50% more of that what the LED power itself is. So there is a quite high loss in the electronic sides. Well, that was the main points. There are many others, but the key points. And if you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. The microphone, James. Hello, just a, a quick first question. What's the list price? We ask everybody just what the list price is. The list price uh, is 399 Great British Pounds. Uh, has, uh, it's made of plastic and metal. Can you recycle it at all? Uh, have you got any plans to yes, recycle Yes, you can surely take it. The plastic housing is... This is a plastic mould and uh, the LED device is uh, screwed internally. So if you take... The, the back side is um, aluminium. So if you take that apart, you can take out the LED platine or what is called it's LED circuit board and then you've got the only plastic house. And this is all aluminium. And um, if one is failure, if there's a failure, you can just take it off here and remove it and put a new one on. Mainly the others have a fixed thing, so you can't change them. Here you can change them. It's like with all the multi-form products, they should be very long lasting, not coming back for repairs. Um, I've got one other question about yes. the, you said the honeycomb filter is, uh, um, gives a more even light beam. Could you explain a bit more about how that works, if that's one of the main innovative <laughs> uh, features? I would not be able to explain why it works. We only found out that it works. We uh, exper experimented with that about one and a half years ago. Um, and as it goes to about five millimeter of this um, yeah, honeycomb blue, it's, it's mirrored, then the light gets several times mirrored and the mixture is very uh, much better if it goes through that with, than without it. Because then you see the, the single color spots still in a, in a short distance, you can still see them. With the honeycomb blue, but you don't see it anymore. Oh, no, I think that's it, thank you very much indeed. Okay, thanks, fine. <laughs>